2018, we can't be having any more deaths in mental health services. No. The place where you it go does. to it when does. you are at your most vulnerable. Yeah. A training session in Birmingham for mental health advocates, people who support those with serious mental illness when they need it most. Because all too often, according to an independent review, people detained under the Mental Health Act aren't being treated with dignity and respect. Delgeen, who has depression and bipolar, has experienced that firsthand. It feels like you, you, you have no rights. Um, it feels like torture at some times, but like forced support injections or holding you down, pinning you down. and just different ways of treating you that just seem a bit degrading and inhumane. The number of people being detained in psychiatric units has been rising, up 40% over the last decade, with black people four times more likely to be detained than white people. Now an independent review says patients need more rights to challenge decisions about their treatment at tribunals. They should be able to express preferences for their care in a legally binding document and have the right to choose a nominated person who has control of their care. Severe mental illness has been the Cinderella of mental health and these are people probably at the most vulnerable in their lives and now they're in an environment that sometimes could hardly be less therapeutic, hardly be less designed to allow people to recover. The review found mentally ill people at crisis point are more likely to end up in a police van than in an ambulance and says it's not fair they're often treated like criminals. Steve Gilbert has bipolar and was sectioned eight years ago. I didn't feel that I was that I was listened to, you know, I was just presumed to have kind of no intelligence whatsoever. Um, you know, you've locked me up against my will. The least you can do is treat me like a real person and, and, and accept that I had a life before I was in hospital. Some would say you've been detained for your own safety and therefore you have to forgo some of those rights. But that doesn't mean that I should be treated with any less dignity and respect. In response, the government's vowed to draw up new laws. The Prime Minister, who ordered the review, says she's determined to tackle the burning injustices suffered by mental health patients. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.